Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton had surgery on his throwing shoulder in the offseason after playing the final four games of the 2016 NFL season with a partially torn rotator cuff. The recovery prevented Newton from throwing to his teammates before training camp. During training camp, Newton's passing was shut down for almost two weeks because of shoulder soreness. He ended up playing one series in Carolina's four preseason games in August. But in the Panthers' first game of the 2017 regular season, Newton went all the way at quarterback in Carolina's 233 victory over the San Francisco 49ers. Newton's performance was uneven, in Carolina coach Ron Rivera's view. A little rusty and, again, were getting used to things, Rivera said after the game about the Panthers' offense. The quarterback missed a couple of throws, and he knows it. H.E.'s upset with himself, and I had to talk him off a ledge. But H.E.S. focusing in on what he needs to get done, and the nice thing is all the other guys are rallying around him. They understand that helps a little rusty. He handled some things very well. Made a couple of real good audibles. He audibled very nicely the play to Shep for the first touchdown was him. It's just about getting comfortable and getting his rhythm. Newton completed 14 of 25 passes for 171 yards with two touchdowns and one interception. Newton threw a 40-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Russell Shepard with three minutes left in the first quarter for the opening points of the game. He connected with running back Jonathan Stewart on a nine-yard touchdown pass with 11.24 left in the third quarter as Carolina took a 200 lead. Russell Shepard con and TD para loss at Los Banders Traz and Giroda 360. At Panthers keep pounding carvssf pick.twitter.com third 4 cj maximo avance nfl at nfl underscore ma september 10th 2017 newton had six rushing attempts for three yards but those numbers should be reversed for his real runs the quarterback had three kneel downs for a one yard loss apiece to end the game carolina kept possession for the final 848 of the game Newton also had a tackle in the game, bringing down San Francisco cornerback Richard Robinson after he picked up a fumble by Carolina running back Christian McCaffrey in the fourth quarter. Newton was among the 17 former Auburn players who got on the field during the first Sunday of the NFL's 2017 season. Other former Auburn players who started on Sunday included inside linebacker Carlos Dansby Woodlawn of the Arizona Cardinals made seven tackles in a 3,523 loss to the Detroit Lions. Nose tackle Pat Sims of the Cincinnati Bengals made four tackles in a 200 loss to the Baltimore Ravens. Right offensive tackle Sean Coleman of the Cleveland Browns made his first NFL start in a 2,118 loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Left offensive tackle Greg Robinson of the Lions. Other former Auburn players seeing action on Sunday included Cardinals linebacker Josh Bynes and safety Rudy Ford New Hope. Bynes made four tackles and Ford had a special team stop in his NFL debut against the Lions. Atlanta Falcons long snapper Josh Harris made a special teams tackle in a 2,317 victory over the Chicago Bears. Bengals outside linebacker Carl Lawson made his NFL debut against the Ravens. Browns wide receivers Sammy Coates, Leroy and Ricardo Lewis. Lewis caught two passes for 32 yards, including a 29-yarder, against the Steelers. Houston Texans fullback J. Prosh UMSW Wright. Indianapolis Colts wide receiver Quan Bray. Jacksonville Jaguars running back Corey Grant Opelika. Los Angeles Rams safety Blake Countess made two tackles, including one behind the line of scrimmage, in a 469 victory over the Colts. Seattle Seahawks cornerback Nako Thorpe made a special teams tackle in a 179 loss to the Green Bay Packers. Tennessee Titans linebacker Darren Bates. For more of Al Com's comprehensive coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL page Panthers running back Cameron Arta Spain, Bengals tight end CJ Uzoma, Packers defensive tackle Montrevious Adams and Washington Redskins cornerback Josh Holsey were designated as inactive on Sunday. On Thursday night, Kansas City right outside linebacker D. Ford Street. Clare County made four tackles and forced a fumble in the Chiefs' 4,227 victory over the New England Patriots. On Monday night, the New Orleans Saints visit the Minnesota Vikings at 610 CDT and the Los Angeles Chargers visit the Denver Broncos at 920. ESPN will televise both games.